Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jay here and I decided that I'm going to start blogging and I want to vent out some, what's the word, um, vent out some, I just want to talk to somebody and since I'm not good at talking my feelings out to other people, I think I will talk my feelings out to the camera and post it for the world to see. With that being said, my name is Jay. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And, yeah, it's not easy living in Brooklyn. I'm a New Yorker. All day, I'm living best style. Best I do a die all day every day I sound weird saying that but that's me that's who I am I'm a plus-size woman who has her ups and downs I wanted to be a big curvy girl right now it's a little down but I'm getting everything fixed out um what else this first video before I get to that all my other videos that you see on my channel probably of me singing, of me, of trying out for the biggest loser, of a walk, of a certain commissioner doing a balancing act in New Orleans, in New Orleans, um, yeah, that's, that was, that was from years ago. I haven't posted anything recently, because I just, I never thought to blog, but I decided I wanted to blog after watching Tris Pay Pay Paytas. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Her last name Paytas and Gigi Gorgeous. A lot of you may not agree about their lifestyles, but I think their lifestyles are just fabulous. Um, it makes me want to be a little bit more girly. A little bit more feminine their channel makes me want to try new new and different makeup styles um I came to the realization that night that I'm a girly girl and I tried to play it off that I'm not, I'm a tomboy and a girly girl together to make a tom girl but apparently my love for sports and my love for being comfortable which I never thought of equivalating comfortability with being a tomboy, but it was just like, that's the way I love to dress. And it was just, I love sports too much. So I never thought me loving sports the way I do would equivalent to being a girly girl. So yeah, I'm a girly girl that loves to play sports. I don't like to get my nails done because... I never know when I'm going to be able, when I'm going to, I would love tips, but I can't wear tips if I'm throwing a softball. And I really can't wear tips if I'm playing tennis. To hold a racket with tips? No. No. Um. No. Yeah, I'm a girly. I'm, I'm not a full 100% girly girl. Um. I do have makeup on. It's not a full face, but it is eyeshadow. If you could. It's golden eyeshadow with liner, black eyeliner, and an eye and mascara. And I had lipstick on, but it kind of wore off during the day. Um, I wish I could do what's in my bag. So I could, like, show my bag. But my bag, this bag is from H&M. So, this is my makeup kit that I carry with me, and I have spray, kabuki brush, brushes, liners, sharpener, pads, I got, I got the world, but I, I put on this makeup forever makeup that says make 
oh, up forever. And the color is N9 Rogue Artist Natural. And I wore this this morning and it wears off because I have the type of lips where it will take, it takes a miracle for me to like effectively fill in my bottom lip because um, I have big lips. But I bought this last year because for my birthday, I had a Sephora card and for my birthday, they gave a little, a little mini makeup thing. It had, it had the lipstick and the mascara and I loved the color. Um, the color was, I love the way the color is on me. So I bought the bigger one. Now, this year for my birthday, they had two choices to get for your gift set for your birthday. Got it. It was a, a cleanser and an eye thingy, which it was a bigger box, but I already have face clean cleansers, like the ones you get in the drugstore, like very simple, St. Ives, apricot scrub. And I got a, um, what's that smell one? It's in a big jar, big blue jar. Um, Clarisel? Not Clarisel. Um, it's, it's old school. It's an old school face cleanser. And Noxzema. Yeah, I think it's Noxzema. And, yeah, I got that as a face, for facial cleansers. One, the St. Ives has a scrub in it, which... I love exfoliant cleansers. Um, exfoliant cleansers are, to me, get deeper in the pores. That's just my opinion. I don't know any scientific facts for it, but to me, it like to me, it really scrapes off the dead. Well, anything exfoliant scrapes off the dead skins of your face. One, and then two, um, it feels like a new face, and to me, I think it gets deeper. I mean, it gets creeper, um, deeper in your pores. That's my opinion. I don't know any facts about it, but, yeah. Um, and the Noxzema, that one, it really, it start, well, I think after I did my face mask, my mud mask, or clay mask on Sunday, watching WWE Fastlane. Um, I love wrestling. I got back into wrestling last year, but, um... It, it it burned. Did I did I use that one? Yeah, I used it this morning and it was burning right here. So I don't know how that's gonna be for now on. But it's not the eye part. My eye part's right here. But I don't I don't ever worry about my eye part, but it was burning around my cheek area. But I don't need facial cleansers and I don't need anything for my eyes. To me that's a little it's it's weird. But it was either that the facial cleanser with the eye thingy or these these are NARS um lip pencils I never heard of lip pencils before let me hold it I don't know which way to hold it for the camera it's probably going to look backwards from here but um I don't know it might be might be right it's a lip pencil, and I never heard of this. I don't think I have. I heard about this trend of using your lip liner as your lipstick, but I will be down to the nub of my lip pencil if I did that. This is Wet n Wild. This lip pencil is lip Wet n Wild color icon, um, berry red. I, I, with my skin complexion, I go for red, I go for light reds, pinks, and golds. Um, I'm afraid. I tried to do a darker brown eyeshadow today, and it looked, I looked like a raccoon. I, I took it off immediately, but I really love these lip, these lip pencils. I'm going to try it out for another week or so, and it depends on 
which one. I think I might go for this. It's called Corella. 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 Corella de. Corella de Vil. Corella de Vil. Okay. Corella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And it's. It's really good. I liked it. It's a bright. To me, it's a red. It pops. It's really good for me because it really. The, the contrast with my skin complexion. And I like this color. This one. This is a matte. And this one here. It's called. Uh, Rick. Gugen, Yugen, I don't know. It's a satin lip pencil. It's satin, so it's more velvet, more velvet, velvet, be, velvety, and it's more smooth than this matte one. But this color doesn't show that much on my lips since they're pink. My lips are pink. It doesn't show that good on my lips. So maybe if I got like a different color pencil maybe but I don't know this one mwah, love it awesome um yeah that and that was birthday gift second year in a row from Sephora I, I really like Sephora I think whenever I get the money maybe, maybe income tax I'll spend a buck getting some makeup or brushes or a kit but I'm keeping this makeup bag because I got this from Victoria's Secret. I love it. I've had another one that was more square, no more rectangular, but it didn't hold everything. It was like, sorry guys about that. My camera, the memory was full, so I had to delete a couple of stuff. But I think I'm going to end this and hopefully I don't run out of any more memory space. I got to, I got to clean out my memory card. But hopefully as things go progress further, I my videos won't be so grainy and I'll be more prepared. But I just wanted to say something to you out there. And hopefully you continue to watch and, and come along with me on this journey as I start to blog and tell how I feel and stuff like that. So with that being said, good night. Have a blessed night. And just love yourself and love everybody else. Bye.